Hi guys, Looker by Google and Microsoft Power BI are both business intelligence and data analytics platforms with a strong following. But which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between Power BI and Looker, and we'll consider four criteria to see how these two tools stack up. And thank you for using the links in the description. So let's find out which is better for you. For the features, in terms of general features, both Power BI and Looker hold similar characteristics. Both offer excellent pre-built templates and tools to create stunning graphs and charts. These two software tools are accessible from anywhere on any device. Even though both have many similarities, they also have some differences. Power BI offers a very easy to use interface with various customizability, such as creating custom themes. But Looker is more on an in-depth analysis. If you know SQL, you can do even more with Looker. Both use different data modeling languages. Power BI has a lower learning curve and is more flexible. Looker has a bit of a sharper learning curve and is a little bit less flexible. If you can learn Looker ML and you know SQL, you will get better results from Looker. But if you want simplicity and don't bother with slightly better flexibility, Power BI is a superior option. And for the accessibility, integrations and collaboration, with Power BI, you can access your data anywhere, anytime and on any device. It integrates with other Microsoft products like Excel, Dynamics 365, Azure and SharePoint. It also integrates with third-party platforms like Salesforce, MailChimp, and Google Analytics. Everyone on your team can access data so you can collaborate and share insights. With its unique digital infrastructure design, Looker infuses and integrates data into your operational workflows to make it easy to collaborate and share with your team. You can create impressive visuals and interactive dashboards that people can access whether they're in the office or on the go. Luca Looker integrates with other third-party data platforms, productivity tools, and databases. These include Slack, Dropbox, Salesforce, Confluent, SharePoint, Snowflake, Redshift, BigQuery, and other supported SQL dialects. And for the data visualization, Power BI is one of the most powerful data visualization tools in the market. There are several templates available that you can utilize to create visual data, striking reports, charts, and graphs. Furthermore, Power BI can hold around 3,500 data points. There is a visualization pane to help you arrange the data and prep it for reports. If pre-built templates do not match the aesthetics of your reports, you can always build your own custom models. Easily a great tool to create data visualizations. Analysts can also create unique interactive visualizations data in Looker. Moreover, Looker features streaming analysis that allows the user to monitor the real-time data changes in the report. A visualization tab can add or remove any customizations to your LookML project. The read-only users can view the products and their customization on the Explore Visualization page, but you must create these custom visualizations using a JavaScript file. Hence, you can directly integrate the data visualizations into your LookML files or host, host it elsewhere using JavaScript. Microsoft Power BI is one of the best visualization tools because of its features. The customization features of Looker cannot easily compete with it. And for the pricing? The price of Power BI varies depending on the packages. The Power BI desktop variant is free for users but comes with some restrictions. Users can connect to over 70 data sources and access files through the cloud data storage feature. The Power BI Pro version encourages more collaboration amongst the analysts and costs around $9.99 per user per month. The Power BI Premium version is the most potent version of Power BI and starts at $20 per user per month. And the premium per capacity plan starts at $4,999 per capacity per month. Looker provides custom pricing that's tailored to each organization based on their deployment scale, number of users, and other factors. 
Prospects will need to contact the vendor directly for a quote, but sources suggest it starts at $3,000 per month. However, you don't have to rely on the experience of others. The pricing differs from company to company, so it's better to contact the company directly. Note that Looker offers discounts to non-profits and schools. So, Power BI wins here. The predetermined pricing structure of Power BI helps you make better decisions instantly to know which package is the best suitable. Also, the packages for Power BI are comparatively cheaper than Looker. So choosing between Power BI and Looker depends on your business and your needs. Both tools come with advantages and disadvantages, so there's no best solution. It will depend on your current needs. However, if you're already familiar with other Microsoft products, Power BI might be a better choice as you'll find the user experience comparable to other Microsoft tools. But if your organization primarily uses Google tools, using Looker will be better for the setup and compatibility. Other than that, it's up to you. So, yep, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. And hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too. And goodbye for now.